all right guys so welcome back to today's video and i'm very excited to present to you nina <laughs> no um uh, we we're in hong kong now we just come from Guangzhou, and uh, we got the train here. It took around 45 minutes to get here on the train. And just here, we have the Avolo Central Hotel, which we are going to be staying at for the next two nights. And I'm looking forward to showing you guys around this hotel, showing you all the facilities it has to offer, some of the rooms, the room we're gonna be staying in. And yeah, just having a great time. And of course, enjoying the city as well while we're here. And trying to, you know, not be so annoyed at this one. <laughs> Press, there we go. Hey, hi, hello. <laughs> okay, wow. So already we've got like a nice restaurant seating area here. Oh, thank you, thank you. Hello. Hello. Oh. Wow, the smell in here is really good. It smells really, really nice. good, yeah, really nice smell. Alright, guys, so we've just checked in. We are on floor 16. So we've got a long way up, and we've got a card here. And in the lift we go. There is, yeah. <laughs> they, they love their candies here. We've just been uh, having a couple of candies while we wait. So we go got all the floors. There's how many floors? 27 floors. That's a lot of floors. And we're, oh yeah, okay, so we've got to scan this. Beep, 16. Oh, it even says here, room 20, yeah, number 27, radio suite, radio. guest rooms, huh? self-serve laundry. That's what we oh, need. Yeah. We're gonna do our laundry while we're here because we have a lot from when we were in China. We literally just come from straight from China. Got a whole bag of laundry. Uh, That's our oh, room there. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Right, I will open sesame. What? Ah. Oh. Wow. Okay, it's kind of nice. Oh, nice. Temperature's nice. Yeah, the temperature's Ooh. nice. Nice big TV. It looks like a TV can go inside the big thing. Big bed. Oh yeah, it does. Maybe it does like, yeah. maybe it goes down or something. Um, and it looks like there's a nice view from out the wind. If I can, <laughs> if I can find it, there we go. <laughs> yeah, we've got a city view here. Lots of buildings, lots of big, big buildings. Oh, a mirror. <laughs> and the Z bathroom. Toilet. Wow. Uh, sink and then shower. It's like a little bench. <laughs> nice, it's like a sauna. Sauna room. Oh, it's very dark, but I'm sure there's some lights that we can put on, but yeah, it looks like we got. Ah, okay, the light comes on when you open the door. How fancy. Ah, then we've even got an Alexa. Uh, full of, oh, full of goodies. Midnight, Midnight snacks. snacks, full of energy. Okay, so we've got a little bag of goodies here. Coffee machine, mini fridge with some water. They have a lot of like different glasses, like martini glasses, yeah. glasses, champagne, wine. Got loads of teas. Oh, nice. Teas and coffees, yeah, champagne and wine glasses. Yeah, nice. All right, well, we're gonna make ourselves at home and then, uh, yeah, explore some more of the hotel. All right, so Nina has just found that there's also another secret compartment to this room, a wardrobe behind a mirror, <laughs> which is really nice, actually. It's, uh, it's got like, what? One, two, three, four hangers. So you can hang up four things, um, but lots of shelving as well to put things out. And what's that next to the bed there? There's like a, a black box. A TV, it says TV on the Oh, TV, okay, so it's like the remote and stuff. Uh, and then you've got your phone, if you want to phone down to reception for anything. A nice space there to work from the laptop as well. Right. We also got a little complimentary snack bag we just opened and we got some sour cream and onion lays. Roasted salted peanuts, uh, almonds, oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> yeah, roasted almonds, uh, two bags of M&Ms and some little gold bear Haribos. Nice. And then also in the fridge, we had some water to, to hydrate. Okay, so we're going down to do our laundry. And I believe laundry is on. Yeah, just to show you guys in the mirror how much laundry we've got. I've got two bags, Nina's got... Oh, all the clothes, really. All the clothes, yeah, everything. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going down to, I think it's floor three, and we're checking the lift when we get in. I think um, it's the first one. All right, we've got the laundry floor here. Drop your pants. <laughs> nice sign. Uh, 
and we've got four washing machines here, geez, okay. Oh, we've got laundry detergent up there as well, which is good. Four machines. Uh, it looks like these two are free and two are in, in use. So we're gonna chuck all our stuff in here. Made in England. So it's officially the first full day here in Hong Kong and we're about to go and get some breakfast in our hotel, the Abuelo Hotel. Uh, so as you can see here we've got the breakfast area. It's like a, we've got the bar, there's like a little seating area just at the back over there as well. And um, for breakfast you get like a little menu with a few, a few options to have a main um, I think it's a, I'll go and get the menu now. There's also this out, there's this outdoor seating area here as well, which is where we're gonna sit because it's nice. And um, I like how they've sort of kept the garden within nature, um, all the greenery here. And um, so we've got the menu, which uh, you get to choose a main and then something from the bakery and then also uh, a coffee as well. And it comes with orange juice, so. Avocado Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, there we go. Ginger and lemon tea. And an orange juice. Okay, so this is what a breakfast looks like here at the Avolo Central Hotel. Uh, I've got the granola with um, yogurt and fruit. Uh, then we've got a piece of fruit each here as well, an apple and a banana, a uh, piece of croissant and sourdough. And then Nina's got the avocado toast with poached eggs and it looks absolutely delicious. And uh, something straight out of a magazine. Presentation of them look incredible. Very excited to give them a try. breakfast has been had absolutely delicious would highly recommend it uh, we're gonna also be here tomorrow morning as well so I'll get something different to show you all so you can see a variety of things that are on the menu uh, but for now I just wanted to show you all what's around the local area here actually in central um, just so you can see what yeah what's near the hotel um, if you wanted to do some exploring Straight out of the restaurant, we've got some steps here that go down and you can see already there's a 7-Eleven so if there's any snacks and things that you want to grab to start your day, then that's a good place to start. And you can see here from the bottom of the stairs, that's where I've just walked from, the hotel's just there. Um, if you want to go back up with ease, you've got escalators that actually take you all the way to the top as well so you don't have to uh, walk back up the steps. Um, but yeah, down here, We'll go and have a little look and see what's there uh, soon. Uh, so down this way, when you turn left, there's a stretch of bars, restaurants, cafes. Um, so there's some nice places to check out. Yeah, I've got a pizza place here. Uh, Amel, Ama Italiana, something. Um, not open yet, but yeah, I've got a couple of restaurants. There's like a Chinese restaurant here. Um, just a bit further up is where we got food yesterday, which you'll see in my Hong Kong vlog. We've got a Thai restaurant, uh, which was quite lively at night time actually when we saw it. And uh, this place here, Ding Dim 1968, is where we had our food. Uh, it looks like they're actually open now. And uh, they do really good dim sum. Uh, we yeah, had a few snacks and things in there yesterday. As soon as you come out of the hotel, and actually another way to get to the hotel is down this road. Uh, up this road, sorry. It's just straight up there. Less than a minute walking. And again, this is another busy place here. Wine bar and restaurant. When we walked past last night, they had all these windows open. And uh, it turned into like a little night scene. And then eventually you'll get to this like cobbled road. Um, 
down one of the side streets and if you go down there all the way it'll take you onto like a main road where there's lots of uh, again like places to eat shops etc um you'll also see more of that in my hong kong vlog so uh, yeah be sure to check that out okay um so yeah i'm just going back up the road now towards the hotel you can see here there's the uh dim sum restaurant that i was mentioning a minute ago so i've kind of come around down the steps along this road here all the way and then just come back on myself this way and you can get to the hotel here so yeah it's very <laughs> central uh hence the name of the area central and um not far from here as well you've also got victoria peak which is a very popular area to see the city and um you can do like a hike there and the views your views across there are really nice as well you'll see that in uh, my hong kong vlog also so you can see here just a little bit further up the road we've got so many skyscrapers here and we're at this place here now the uh the centrium um i think it's like office buildings yeah the hotel is just here so it really is close by um so yeah and they've got a really interesting like sculpture outside the front this little guy i've only just i've only just noticed this as well well hello darling okay let's go So guys, I've also just remembered that here um, on the same floor is a self-service laundry um, called Drop Your Pants. <laughs> we also have a room called BIG, um, which is like a conference room um, or like a, maybe like a workspace. So I'm going to show you guys that quickly now as well, because I didn't see it before. Um, so when you come out, you've got the uh, laundry area just in there and then in here. Got BIG. Is there anyone in here? No. Okay, so there it is. Conference room. So I've got multiple seats. There's even an outdoor balcony area just here, which I'll show you guys now. Uh, but it's very ambient. <laughs> Plug points to uh, charge your laptops. Um, big TV here as well, I'm guessing for conferences or just for watching TV. Um, and then outside here, if it's open, yep, we have the balcony where we've got like a smoking area, a couple of places to sit, and then you've got a little bit of a view looking down. And you can see 7 Eleven from here. Okay, good morning, guys. I'm currently here at the Avola Hotel, about to have breakfast on day two. Um, I thought I'd show you guys something a little bit different on the menu today. I've ordered a different item. On the menu uh, the good thing is is that they've got like five or six different options which is great for a few days stay here and uh, most of them are I believe vegetarian or vegan which is also really good for everyone who wants to uh, stay at this hotel uh, I've just ordered and at the moment we've got the croissant and the banana that have just turned up I'm just waiting for the drinks and the main course so I'll look forward to showing you all when it arrives all right guys here it is. This is my order for today. A lemon ricotta pancakes with some berries. Um, with a peppermint tea, uh, a croissant that I've currently taken a bite out of because I was uh, just waiting for my food, so I <laughs> thought I'd start on the croissant. But it looks and smells great, so I'm very much looking forward to giving this a try. Uh, the food options here, absolutely incredible. Wish I could have tried them all. Um, they had lots of things on the menu of eggs as well, organic foods. Um, and they have got a social hours bar where you can also order drinks in the afternoon from 3 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Um, so if we have time today before we check out, I would love to show you that. So guys, um, I've just spoken to reception and I'm going to be showing you something else here. By the way, the red light on my face, neon sign at the, uh, at the lift. Um, <laughs> anyways, I'm going to be showing you something else. Uh, I've got the key card for the top floor, the roof floor. Um, floor 27, it's the radio suite, which is the biggest room here. The whole floor is a room, whereas all the other floors are two rooms. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go up and show you. We're gonna have a little look together 
and see what it's like. I'm very excited to check this one out. It's um, yeah, going to be interesting to see uh, the comparison from our room to this one. Okay, here we go. Floor 27. Let's go. All right, guys. So we are now here at the radio suite. Just come out on the top floor. Number 27. It's a very dark, mysterious uh, floor, but it looks epic. I love these neon signs already. We've got the key card. Here's the room. Let's go inside. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, wow. So straight away, we've got like a red velvet looking huge sofa area here with like these cow skin seats and a good cool like electric guitar on the wall up there a uh, huge tv and some like little one this is like a full-on like living room it's this is incredible uh yeah got like little ornaments there <laughs> that's cool it says radio in the book there um things to do with the the Beatles. I've seen a lot of Beatles stuff in this hotel actually, obviously being like a sort of music hotel. Um, and then you've got your cooking area here, well microwave, uh, whiskey, drinks, coffee machine. But you can just see as well the size of this room, it's huge. And um, yeah, that, I mean like we haven't even gone to the bedroom yet, you can see the bed from here. We've got a huge, huge bed with uh, another TV there by the looks of it, maybe, oh yeah, there's another TV there, um, and, oh wow, lots of albums, um, and pictures of albums and things, Rolling Stones, Elvis Presley, Fleetwood Mac, and then here, <laughs> it's like a, it's like a dressing mirror, um, to put on, like, makeup and stuff, like one of the ones you see in, in theatres or, uh, like, uh, backstage in a in a in a theatre. Pretty cool. And I'm sure. Hang on, let's have a look and see what the view's like from the window, because the view from our one was quite high already, and this one is, by the looks of it, well, obviously even higher. <laughs> um, but yeah, you've got more views looking down at the buildings there. Um, not sure if there's another side to look out of. Let's have a look. Uh, it looks like there's a little window here, and oh, there's a door. Is this like a? It's like a... Ah, okay. Oh, it's another... It's... <laughs> okay, it's another bathroom. Wow, okay. An ensuite in a kitchen. That is pretty cool. I did not expect that. I was expecting like more storage space, but nope. A bathroom. Anyways, so that is the radio suite. Um, it was really cool to come and check it out because it's a very unique room. And uh, if you are staying here for a couple of days, Maybe this is for you if you're in if you're uh, interested in all different kinds of music and you want to stay somewhere with a bit of style To end our trip here at Abola Hotel in Hong Kong, we've got uh, a menu here and we get a complimentary drink. We can choose from one of these cocktails and these cocktails here, there's uh, seven uh, different cocktails here to choose from. They're inspired by uh, rich and fascinating Indian mythology. Um, so we've got some very interesting kind of ingredients that I've not really seen in many cocktails before, some of them. Uh, like something called Palm, P-A-A-N, no, Pan, Palm. Uh, Campari, yeah, there's like all different kinds of different things, but we've gone for uh, a one here called the girl that married a tiger and it's got kaffir, leaf, gin and lime and then the other one's called pink lady and it's got vodka, lychee syrup and rose liqueur. Yeah, and she said these were the most popular ones. Yeah. <laughs> so we've uh, picked two of the favourites here, uh, but like I said, there's like seven to choose from, so um, if anyone comes here and you try the other flavors, let us know what they were like. Hello there. Hello. So, um, if you have a, a the girl that made a tiger, oh, we can was, share them. So oh, it we'll just share them. Yeah. Yeah, okay, there you go. So, uh, this is like the girl that made a tiger. So, which is a cafe lime drink. Yeah, it comes with the cafe inside. It's like a small lime. So, this is a pink lady. So, which is a gin base. 
drink the lychee juice and some wow. rose. It's so pretty. Thank you. Thank you so much. Alright guys, so let's give these two incredible drinks here a try. They look look amazing. Mm. I'll give this one a try. Yeah. Oh it smells really nice. It smells like pearl roses obviously. Mmm. Oh, that's really zesty. It's got lime in it as well. Mmm. That's really nice. It's really nice as well. It's stronger than I thought it would be. Really, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it looks very like like a light girly drink. Yeah, yeah. Um, Nina, Nina's gonna get drunk in a minute. <laughs> no. I mean, I am Asian. Yeah. I, don't, I don't drink that much, so... <laughs> mm. Let's give this a try. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's really... Yeah. This tastes very Indian, I don't know why. Yeah, right. It's the, it's, what's it's it called? The, the kefir. Yeah, kefir. Which is a... Leaf of a lime or something? Something like that? Yeah, some kind of leaf. Yeah. This is really nice too. I prefer the green one. I prefer that one. I think I prefer the green one as well. Yeah. This one's like very, almost like floral. Tasting. Yeah, it's very like sweet, mild. Floral, mild. Yeah, that one's like. I'm strong. Yeah. This one tastes kind of strong. Mm. I'm more of like a zesty cocktail kind of person, anyways. But they're both really nice though. Um, very this unique This would go flavors. really well with food. Hmm. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think this one goes well with dessert. Oh, okay. I'm trying one again. Yeah, it's like more floral tasting. So guys, um, this does bring us to the end of the uh, Avola Hotel experience. We do hope that you enjoyed looking around this little hotel in Hong Kong. It's been a pleasure staying here. We will definitely return again soon. Everyone's just been so welcoming to us. Uh, had a really great experience, would highly recommend it, it's in such a great area of Hong Kong as well. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get to show you guys more Hong Kong content again soon when we return. But for now, goodbye. Bye! <laughs> Bye.